Hello everyone, my name is Kayla and welcome back to Kay's Head and Shelf where we talk about books. Today I'm going to catch you up on what I'm currently reading. Now this is just going to be a quick little overview as to what I'm reading. I know I am far behind on this kind of video but I figured I'd touch base where I can and I have a moment. So let's dive in and take a look at what I've been reading this week. First up is The House of Sacrifice. I am almost done this and I am... It's bittersweet. <laughs> I am loving this series. It's the third book in the Empires of Dust by Anna Smith Spark. I love the first two books. They were both five-star reads for me. This is grimdark fantasy in its grimmest form. There is quite the brutality, violence, and just sheer morbidness to it all. It's it's pessimistic. And despite all of this, it has a sense of beauty about it, a perspective of beauty in such a dark and, and twisted way of life. It, it's such a fascinating read. I absolutely am loving Anna Smith Sparks' writing. It's very poetic as well. And so this one I have been savoring. I think I've been reading it over the course of two weeks or so. And that's with the audiobook as well for an immersion read. It's it's just been fantastic. I highly recommend if you're looking for something in the grimdark fantasy that is very grim, there is no hope, there is no ray of sunshine, and you're looking for something that is a bit more poetic, packed with action, madness, insanity, uh, just derangement, all of it, you will find it in here. It's such a rich world as well with different religious beliefs, gods, and just the way that the world is laid out with the characters, their origins, and how that impacts their perspectives. All of it is fascinating. We have mercenary soldiers from mad kings to high priestesses and queens. It's such a great read. So this is one that I am absolutely adoring. I don't know how each book kept getting better than the next in the trilogy, but it does. And I'm I'm sad that it's coming to a close, but I've got about 150, maybe 200 pages left, and I'm going to savor it while I can. After that, I am also reading The Hunters by David Regg. Now, this actually came on my radar pre-release. The author actually reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in an arc, but unfortunately, I could not commit at the time. And so I went to the store, bought it myself, and it's been sitting on on my shelf since then waiting to be read and I was finally in the mood to pick it up. Again, I picked up the audiobook to go along with it as I love doing immersion reads and it really does help when I'm doing chores because chores are really boring and this is not. It is a filled with quirky characters, fantastic banter, and it follows an aunt who has a violent past, yet she is trying to find a quiet life for her and her niece, and I mean, the past doesn't stay buried and shenanigans ensue. There's quite the surprising level of violence to it, but when I say surprising, I mean it's just unexpected. There's violence in it, but you don't always know it's coming, and there's plenty of action in this traveling and a harsh world with a desert. Desert. It has all been a great introduction to the story so far. And of course, we have a secretive aunt and a plucky young girl that we are following throughout the story. I'm about 100 pages in, so I still have a little ways to go, but it's been a lovely read so far. And I'm really curious to see how it all turns out. On the front cover, too, there are some of my favorite characters so far, and that is a brother and sister. These two have fantastic banter. I don't know how they still talk to one another with how they treat each other, but it, it's just fantastic. It's spot on. I It feels so believable. And I don't know how many times I've laughed at their just dynamic between the two of them. It's a lot of fun. So if you're looking for something that has action, high stakes, and mystery surrounding it, along with some lovable cast and some daunting cast as well, because I mean, this one right here with the, with the axe... She's scary. That's all I'm going to say. And that's about it for what I am currently reading. I have a few other ones that I am really excited to get to, and I might not be able to get to them until May. So why don't we tack on a little May TBR or MBR here as well. The first one I am looking forward to getting to is A Memory of Song by Scott Palmer. Now, this is one that I've been excited for since the author shared the details about it. This is their debut. And I think the tagline for it is 
Braveheart with Ghosts and a Wizard, which, I mean, that just sounds epic to me on top of the book's description as well. So this is one that I've been really excited to start. It is coming out soon. It's a debut. And from the feedback that's starting to come out from ARC reviewers, it sounds like I'm in for a wild epic ride. The next one was a little bit unexpected, but I am so excited. For a little while now, you probably noticed in the corner down here, I have been collecting some of Jenny Wirtz books. I have been really excited to delve into her writing and it's been one of my goals this year to start her books and somewhere in the Twitter and or X universe, depending on what we're calling it nowadays, I had ended up connecting with Jenny through posts and just comments and trying to figure out where the best place to start was. Through all of this discussion, she actually messaged me privately, thank you so much Jenny, and recommended that I start with The Gallant. This is a preceding novella to Curse of the Mist Wraith, and she recommended it as a good place to start with her writing and the overall story for that series. The next ones I might end up picking up, and again, this is all mood. I, I've stopped doing TBRs or MBRs because I never stick to them, but this is a couple that I originally started a while back. I got to about 20 or 30% in both of them, and I just, life got hectic, it got chaotic, and my reading was sorely impacted. And for that reason, I had to put them down, but I've been feeling the itch and the call to come back to them and finish them, see them through because I was originally really enjoying them, but life happens. And those are Undead Samurai by Baptiste Pinson Wu and Lost Souls by Ryan Skeffington. And both of them were fascinating. I was really enjoying them. So I'm really looking forward to diving back in and seeing if hopefully, no whammies, life is a little kinder this time around. So that is a little bit about what I've been reading and what I hope to read coming up next. Like I said, I stopped doing TBRs and MBRs because I really am terrible at sticking to them. I like just going with the flow, going with my mood, and yes, it is absolutely chaotic and frustrating at times, but I also have a lot of great reads because of it. So I'm just kind of going with it. I am trying to stick to at least two rules, and that is trying to finish out series because I am terrible at doing that and I'm trying to be better about it, but also being able to fit in those review copies as I do have quite a few that I want to make a dent in as well, but they also are just fascinating and they sound interesting and they caught my eye for a reason. So I want to dive into those too. Apart from that, everything's to the wind, so we'll see what happens. But what about you? What are you reading and what might you read next? Leave your comments down below. I always love hearing from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.